happening today. The Epiphany celebration in Tarpon Springs will go on, although some events are canceled and others are going to have a limited audience. We still have ABC Action News reporter Jasmine Stiles joining us live from St. Nicholas Creek Orthodox Cathedral this morning. Turn things over to you, Jasmine. How many people can actually attend the Blessing of Spring Bayou this morning? James, a church spokesperson told us only 800 parishioners will be allowed to watch the group of teen boys die for that cross. Now, to give you some context, about 25,000 people show up for Epiphany, and I just want to direct your attention behind me a little bit. They are setting up a table to get those passes out to parishioners. It is first come, first serve, and you cannot grab passes for people who aren't there. The church is asking the general public to stay home. Today's 8 a.m. church service will be limited to 50% capacity. The processional to the Spring Bayou will consist of only clergy, dignitaries, and divers. After one of the 55 teen boys finds the cross the archbishop throws into the water, there's normally a big celebration at Craig Park called the Glendy, but this year the cathedral canceled it. The boys participating say Epiphany may be different than years past, but they're grateful the cathedral still found a way to put on the event safely. Of course, getting the cross is a blessing, but just being in the water itself is just the biggest blessing of the whole year. Now, we were able to get a look at the event plan submitted to Tarpon Springs by the cathedral, and we've been told that the boys will have to wear a mask before they dive into the bayou, and we'll have to put on that mask as soon as they get out of the water. We're live in Tarpon Springs. I'm Jasmine Stiles, ABC Action News. All right, Jasmine, thank you for the update. And we'll let you know that ABC Action News is going to be bringing you extended coverage of Epiphany 2021 on our free streaming news channel. Just search ABC Action News on your favorite streaming device to check us out. Live coverage we expect to begin around noon.